explain yeah. how this all went down from, you know, just a easy to understand start to finish. Let's not finish right. yet, well, but here, you know what I mean. Right. Here's the basic problem in August after the horrible, you mentioned the primaries in New York, they're still uh, not finished. Uh, our first primary in the COVID uh, crisis. So Governor Cuomo decided to uh, put forth an executive order in August, changing all the rules of the election law. A couple of key points that he made were, first of all, he allowed no excuse absentee voting, which means that anyone can ask for an absentee ballot and go and vote. You know, that's not so terrible because there are other elections. And as long as you can verify that you are who you are and the integrity of the voter uh, is, is maintained, that's fine. But what he did is created an online portal that is unverified. So anyone, any third party could go in. And if, as long as I have your name, your address and your date of birth, I can request a ballot without having to prove that I am the person requesting the ballot. Now, think about this. New York has two key things that make it a state that is just, uh, you know, a target for fraud and corruption. Number one, New York does not have a valid purge statute, meaning you mm -hmm. can sit on the ballot, you can register to vote, move, and 20 years later, you're still an eligible voter in New York unless you actively take your name off the list. You can go inactive, but, the, but you can still go in and vote if you choose to vote. The second big thing we have, we do not have any kind of valid voter ID system. Those two issues would certainly make a big difference.